I wanted to uh, clarify one thing on uh, sensor cleaning. Um, I know it scares the... It's like two things scare people. The use of speed lights and cleaning their sensors. <laughs> and there's nothing to be afraid of. Don't fear the sensor cleaning. Unless you're like really clumsy. Or you're like one of those people that uh, will... Uh, like if you're putting on peanut butter, you'll actually bend the knife in half. Uh, <laughs> or if your name is uh, Loaf or Lump or <laughs> uh, you get my point um, on uh, sensor cleaning now you don't need I'll never use this stuff the Eclipse stuff it, literally two drops is enough for any sensor cleaning with the little tiny bottles that I carry around I have no idea what I'm going to do with all this Eclipse cleaning solution I have uh, tons of uh, sensor wipes I keep a little portable package that I take around with me everywhere. This little bottle with about 30 drops in it is enough to last well over a year. I have uh, two different sensor swabs in here. One is for full frame sensors, another one is the DX crop sensors. These are uh, made by Photosol. Um, they run you depending where you... I'm going to give you a link below, by the way. I have no idea, and they're not counterfeit. No idea how this person gets... Uh, his uh, sensor swab so cheap, but I'll give you the link below on eBay. I've got no connection to him at all. Where you can get that cheap. Um, make sure you check on Photosol's website what size sensor swab that you actually do need. Like a size 2 for DX crop sensor, like a Fuji for example, and size 3 uh, for a full frame sensor. But uh, if you got a dirty sensor, you're usually going to use two swabs. I mean, 90% of the time you're going to use a swab. You're going to check it, you're going to find out it's dirty. You should be keeping your lens mounts and your lens caps clean anyway. That's where most of the crud is coming from. It's actually migrating from the back of your lens to your sensor. I mean, I have bought so many hundreds and hundreds of lenses over the decades, and I have yet to find, even from Japan, someone that sent a lens where the back of the lens, especially the lens caps, the lens cap are just grimy dirty. They're just full of dust bunnies, and that migrates from there to the back of your lens and then to your sensor. You've really only got one piece of film in your digital camera, uh, and that film is your sensor. You need to keep it clean. Keep it like an operating tank. I know you've got to change your lenses out in the field. That's not the point. I, I know that happens. Um, so far as saving your uh, time on a sensor wipe, so when I was talking about cleaning doing a, a, a wet clean on your sensor with a q-tip I was referring to something specific and I didn't elaborate and that's uh, humble apologies on my part is that instead of using two sensor swabs to clean your sensor because you're gonna have to if you get a dirty sensor I said nine times out of ten you use two what I'll do is that you'll have your pad of uh, pack of pec pads if you touch them at all where you're gonna be using them then you've already got oils on it you're gonna have to grab another so grab one out a sheet of your pec pads, making sure never to touch the central region. Stick a Q-tip in the center, making sure that the central port where the Q-tip is at is not touched. Wrap it like so. Yes, uh, whether it's cotton polyester, these little hairs will migrate, and you don't want that getting behind your shutter blades, obviously so. So what I'm doing is, if you want to wrap a rubber band around it, that's fine, you don't need to. I'll actually put a couple drops of Photosol solution. With my headlamp on, I'll go in and clean the sensor with this. That'll leave streaks. But you've got about 90% of it. Then, of course, I'll grab out my uh, sensor wipe. Uh, my uh, Photosol uh, sensor cleaning swab. And then I'll use uh, the uh, sensor. And that will save you, depending on how many cameras you got and how often you need to clean your camera, that'll save you... Well, your, 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 your uh, sensor cleaning uh, swabs will last twice as long, basically. And, you know, for $40 for a dozen of them, they're not that cheap. You know, I'm not one that believes in cheaping out on cleaning your sensor, obviously. But if you could use one sensor wipe instead of two, then do that. And so, if you order from this guy, he always includes a pack of pec pads. And so you just grab yourself a Q-tip, make sure you never touch the end of it where it's actually going to be touching your sensor. Wrap it around drop or two of the Eclipse. This is an alcohol. No, you can't use rubbing alcohol. This is a special solution. Uh, it's methyl alcohol and something else. A couple drops of it. Clean it, and then switch your uh, sensor paddle. Okay? Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye.